Hey, this is Emilio from Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to read, write NTFS hard drives, NTFS USB drives on your Mac. But before we do that, please remember to subscribe, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. So as you probably know, NTFS is the primary file format that is used on a Windows computer. Sometimes you wanna be able to use that hard drive and write to it on a Mac, but you can't. On a Mac, generally you can just read an NTFS uh, partitioned and formatted hard drive, but you can't write to it. You can't delete files, you can't add files, you can't even format that in an NTFS format. We're gonna be using some piece of software called Paragon NTFS for Mac. This software is great. I've been using it for years and highly, highly recommend it. And essentially the software is installed onto your computer and lets your Mac to be able to natively read and write and format NTFS uh, USB hard drives on your Mac the same as you could on a Windows computer. In my description below, go and get yourself a copy of Paragon NTFS. As I said, it's the best piece of software that I've used to let you natively manage NTFS file format on your Mac. So we're now going to cross over to my Mac. Uh, I've got a MacBook Pro. It doesn't matter what Mac you've got. As long as you're running a new operating system, we're gonna go through the steps on how to get yourself a copy of Paragon NTFS from their website through the link in my description, installing it, and then how to actually use it and what it looks like to use and the great features and functionality that you get from using this software. So by clicking on the link in my description, you're led to this page, this is the Paragon website for Microsoft NTFS for Mac. You can go and buy it right from here. Uh, you can also download a trial version, but we're obviously gonna go and buy it because that's what we want to do. We want to have the full functionality. Uh, the trial version will not last forever. So it is. Uh, this is in Australian dollars, $31, so it's relatively cheap. So I would recommend going and purchasing the software because you're not gonna regret using it. Um, but if you want, go ahead and trial it first and uh, see what you think first before you go and buy it. So once you've got the software, you've downloaded it, whether that be the trial or the full version, you're now presented with the option to install NTFS for Mac. So let's just double click on that and open up the installer. There'll be a few things that you'll have to do here around essentially trusting the NTFS installer to be able to install on your computer um, because it will require full access into your hard drive. You may be asked if it's okay to open up the software because we downloaded it from a website and not the app store. So if you're okay with that, click on open anywhere and you're fine. And then under the privacy tab, you'll see under full disk access, there's a couple of things in here that you'll need to give access to Paragon NTFS to use. So unlock this, uh, authenticate it. I've got Touch ID, but there's a couple in here. So you want to allow uh, this particular option right here to be ticked, as well as the actual install NTFS for Mac to be ticked as well. Otherwise, you won't be able to have access to that hard drive to be able to install uh, the software. So once you've done that, accept the terms and conditions and select next. Throw in your password and install helper, and the process will begin installing the Microsoft NTFS for Mac software. So installing the software essentially allows the Mac operating system to be able to understand and uh, have full access into an NTFS format uh, on top of existing file formats that Mac OS already knows around the Apple file system, uh, FAT32, XFAT, there's some other file formats there. It'll also include and add NTFS into its arsenal. So you'll have an option here to start a 10-day trial where you can use the software for up to 10 days, but then it will stop working. Uh, the, also, the other option there is to activate NTFS for Mac if you've already bought it. You can buy it right through there as well if you so choose to. We're gonna select activate NTFS for Mac and select next. We now want to sign into the Paragon Box account. So if you don't already have an account, go and create a new one, clicking on the link, filling in your details and selecting sign up. You'll get an email that you have to authenticate against and then it's gonna ask you to set your new password. So set your password, confirming it twice. So with the account now created, enter your email and your password and sign in. With your serial number, you wanna input it right into there and activate. Once activated, it will tell you that it's completed and it was successful. You can click on next right from here. And the next step is now to restart your Mac. You'll need to restart your Mac 
uh, to be able to essentially enable that file system to be able to have full access into your Mac operating system. So you have to restart, so close everything and restart. So once your Mac is back, you are good to go. What I've done here is I've got a 16 gig USB hard drive, which as you can see, it is currently formatted. If we're going to get info, it is formatted as Microsoft NTFS. That is the format. So ordinarily, all I could do would be be able to read that USB hard drive on my Mac. I wouldn't be able to do anything else other than that. But right here, I've got some files and I can easily copy files now straight into that hard drive. Ordinarily, I would not be able to do that. You'll see that right from there, I've now copied a clean my Mac DMG file straight into my NTFS hard drive on my Mac. I can also select some files and actually delete them, allowing me to delete from the NTFS USB hard drive. A great feature is if, I've, if I open up the disk utility from the spotlight on the top right hand corner, I now have an option on here to be able to actually format a hard drive in more formats than I could normally. So if I just select arrays and select the actual um, format, you'll see that NTFS is actually listed on top of APFS and Mac OS Extended, FAT, FAT, XFAT. Uh, I've now got NTFS as well. So I can actually format even a brand new hard drive in this new NTFS format. In my Finder in Applications, I've got NTFS for Mac, which I can open up. Essentially, it's the app for this, uh, you can see right here is my 16 gig USB. It shows me that it's in NTFS format as well as my couple of other hard drives, which is my Mac OS hard drive and another USB, which is formatted slightly differently. From the 16 gig USB, I've got a few different options there around spotlight indexing and other things. And there's also options around my other two hard drives if I want to uh, adjust some of those settings. If I go to the top left hand corner, I've got the NTFS for Mac in my finder. I can select about NTFS to understand the version that it's running. Uh, I can also go into preferences uh, to actually go and adjust some further settings. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna unlock it. Uh, so clicking on that little lock on the bottom left, throwing in your password. And I've now got additional options available. I can uninstall the software completely. I can disable the NTFS option from my Mac. Uh, there's also other things around the appearance. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things that you can change there if you so need to. You can update the software right from here. You can also adjust your alerts and notifications. Uh, they're all on by default, as well as access essentially the same main menu, the same options that you have within general. And the other nice thing is in the top uh, right hand corner in your taskbar, it is a shortcut right in there for NTFS for Mac. You can access that application that we were just in before, as well as some information around the hard drives that are connected. So that is it. Hopefully you were able to get the software, install it, and now that you've got uh, hard drives, USB sticks that are running in the NTFS format, and you're able to easily move them between Mac and Windows PCs without problem being able to fully write and delete and add files into a NTFS drive on your Mac. But that's it for now. I would love it if you like this video, comment, subscribe as always to keep up to date with all of my videos that I'm releasing, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.